start by adding fill layer and add a black mask. Here I'm using my own alphas. You can use the, the alphas that, that comes with a substance painter. I made it made them in Photoshop. Okay, let's add the alpha. The other one, just rotate a little bit. Nope. I need to use the tangent warp just to straight the, the alpha. Sometimes it doesn't work properly. So, uh, change the height, give it a little height here, like 0.1, also here, point 0.2 maybe, I can change this uh, later, so, and have another one, but this time I'm gonna use an alpha from Substance Painter. I want to add a sign. So just grab a, a round circle, a circle or a round shape. <laughs> Duplicated and now grab another alpha, give it another color. This time is a is a, a minus alpha. I have to change the height. I think it's too high, so point one I think is enough. the roughness too. I think it's too bright so make it 0.7 maybe. Duplicate another one just clear this mask because we're gonna uh, add some spots some ink spots Try this one, maybe, no, not. Let me see. Let's see on the brushes. Yeah, I think this one, ink splatter, ink splatter too some ink splatters with this alpha okay. and this in the amount also I'm not giving any height value here so just just add some random splash splatters like this. I'm gonna add some uh, bl a blur slope. Add some some kind of um, blur to the edges, some slope to the edges. gonna use the smudge tool to make this effect, this ink effect, to 
which is very in interesting. I think it's a very cool tool. here and here also here let's reduce the, the size of this brush okay now I think it's done now another blur loop here I'm just trying out this intensity divider um, I'm going to to blur a little this slope this blur slope okay just a small amount like this reduce the height once again I don't like the height so so high and again with the smudge tool let's add some ink to this private text Use the flow, increase the, the brush size. And continue the process much here. Okay. Now repeat the process for the sign. Let's decrease the height value and the blur slope. Point one, I think, is enough. blur, directional blur in this case, just to try another blur and smudge it once again. Just repeat for the minus sign, blur slope, the blur, the smudge tool give it this paint drip effect I'm going to, to delete some of these spots I think they are too much so it here and here I think it's enough. Okay, that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. See you the next time. Bye.